Welcome back everybody to Sunrise POS, sunrisepos.com. Today we're going to be talking about editing time cards. And I'm going to go through in detail and show you how to edit time cards in bulk uh, so you don't have to go into each individual profile to be able to do this. Um, first and foremost, uh, we'll go into, let's just dive right into this. Um, you're going to need back office access, uh, first of all. Uh, and also, um, you will need in your security settings, if you click on the uh, security settings button here, uh, there is a security feature on here that says um, th th it gives the ability to edit time cards. And this, let me scroll down here, or actually uh, edit unpaid time cards, which this should be a five. This should be nobody should be able to do this, but owners and the highest level management. Um, so make sure that if you go into your uh, employee settings in the POS. Uh, under back office here, under your employee settings and your employee file, that um, I'll be using Oscar. Um, I'm going to set him as a uh, level five, uh, so he does have the access to edit everybody's time cards. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm set up uh, as a level five. Actually, he is a general manager, and I'll click save and done. And what we're going to want to do is in the POS, see this button here on the bottom, you're going to click on time card. You're going to put your manager code in, which mine is simply just one. And you click on the edit time cards button. As you notice here that all the employees uh, that you have are listed here and below are the dates that they worked. So if I want to go in and edit, say, James's time uh, for, uh, say, the, um, the 10th of, of, of February, um, maybe he, uh, you know, he, he clocked in at um, uh, 4:59, and um, he, you know, he clocked out at 5 o'clock, and he took a break at 5 o'clock. And you know, if you need to make any adjustments on this, maybe uh, he, he actually clocked out. Um, it, uh, you're using these buttons here on the bottom. Uh, he, he did he, he clocked himself in and then accidentally clocked himself right out maybe he was looking for something who knows but anyways the, for the ability to change the time so we'll just go up on and we'll give him his uh, he worked until 11 p.m. that night and we're going to click save and it'll tell you that you successfully saved that and now we have we've made that uh, at that that adjustment and now we can also edit his break uh, he took his break at actually he took his break at six o'clock let me edit his time card up here a little bit uh, he got a one hour break from um, let's say uh, seven o'clock and we'll go ahead and update this to um, six uh, thirty so he took a clock in at five took a break at took a break at six thirty and he clocked back in at seven o'clock and then he clocked out at 11 o'clock. So this would be his hodl for the, for this particular day. And I'll go ahead and click on save on this. And if I need to edit another day, I can just choose that date here on the bottom, which it just pops down. And it now it shows the February 11th date. And I can make those particular changes of when he clocked in, when he clocked out, what time his breaks were, etc. And I can save those right here. Um, I can do that with every single one of my employees, like if I want to choose, uh, say, Oscar, if I need to edit his time card, um, maybe he did the same thing on the 10th, he clocked in at uh, 4.58, uh, and he actually worked until uh, maybe uh, 11.45. is when he clocked out and he took his break at uh, let's say um, he took his break at 745 or 755 and he, uh, he clocked back in after uh, after his break at uh, let's say um, 815 he just took a quick um, you know 20 minute break because it was busy and he needed to get back on the floor. So that's how you make your quick adjustments and you can do it with, uh, make sure you click on save when you make those changes and it will verify that you made those changes. 
and you go through all your employees and um, I was just using these two here for reference but you can do that with all your employees so if you do have managerial features or you ha and you have the capability in your security settings to change and edit employee time cards you can do it all from right here without having to bounce in and bounce out and have everybody's login code and those type of things you can make all those changes right here um, and save those changes and um, they, they will all show um, everything to be to, to, to be accurate so hopefully that uh, gave you the correct information that you were looking for and um, feel free to um, give me a call if you have any questions at 800-531-4767 uh, and uh, we'd love to help you out or you can give us a um, call if you'd like to uh, schedule a one-on-one -on -one training session for more in-depth detail on this thank you very much again this is sunrise pos sunrisepos.com